Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of dismal Disney. We're in the home stretch now and things are getting pretty ugly. Yeah. The, uh, the, yeah, which we expected. The Disney try in uh, uh, debacle, which ends next week, thank God. But why do I have a feeling it's not going to end? I think it's I think it's going to be disputed or something, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, they've been ramping up the advertising. They've been ramping up the support. We have Disney out there trying to get everybody they can get, even their worst enemies, to give statements supporting the current board and Bob Iger. And uh, we have Nelson Peltz out there talking about how crap the Disney movies have been and how they need change. I'll go back. I want to point out real quick. It's not just Nelson Peltz. It's Nelson Peltz and glasses. Nelson Peltz and glasses. Yes. <laughs> is that is that like Puss in Boots? Oh no! I saw that and I was like, uh, well, yeah. The caption so reads Nelson Peltz and that. glasses. I'm so glad you clarified that. I was very confused to that point. I didn't know. I didn't know that that was Nelson Peltz. Yeah. Thought, yeah. It's like Superman, Clark Kent. Oh my, oh my god. god. Oh my god. It's I been. I can't. Anyway, continue. <laughs> yeah. It's like. So now Blackwells, that's the other group that nobody talks about, the one that wanted to uh, divide. Oh, Capital. Yeah. yeah, they wanted to divide Disney into three parts, which was really freaking stupid. Well, they're suing Disney now because they said they failed to disclose, uh, I, I think it was the Value Act situation. Well, the Value Act thing, I kind of understand where they're coming from because it kind of, if they're an investment group, right, and they get they get to help work with Disney, then they could get insider information. For their shareholders, yes. and that's is kind of concerning. I, I kind of have agreed with them with that part as, as you know the whole time. Said that several times, but yeah, yeah. So let's uh, let's talk about this uh, this drama now. I believe it's uh, what April third is when April they have 3, the, yes. the meeting, so it's next Wednesday. It's less, than, less than a week. But I think they have a pretty good idea of where things are going to go, which is why I think everybody's freaking out. Um, yeah, Disney's not out of the woods, guys. I'm, I'm telling you, they're not out of the woods. I don't know if they're going to. Uh, be able to save their asses in their seats on the board, but they're definitely not out of the woods. Well, they're sure as hell spending a lot of money to try, so there's that. All right, guys, so before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. You get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Uh, yeah, so we've been seeing a lot of these ads. Uh, the Ludwig von Drake one runs a lot. It actually runs before our videos, which I think is really weird. Uh, an audio version of it, I think, ran before our podcast. Yeah, and it's so, funny, the, the mudslinging one you don't see anymore. Like, it kind of just, like, went away. Well, it was a bad look. It, it, it was, was a like, bad look. Yeah. I thought I was like, what the hell were you thinking? Oh, so let's go out to Reuters first. They have battle for Disney board seats heats up as votes come in and Blackwell sues. Uh, with less than a week to go, the race for votes heated up Thursday as one institutional investor sided with Bob Iger and the company's directors and another backed hedge fund manager, Nelson Belt's try and fund. We talked about that. We, mm. They had these different uh, fund managers were kind of picking sides. Uh, the New York City retirement system, which owned $291 million worth of Disney stock at the end of last month, said the entertainment giant should get more time to achieve the strategic transformation. Well, it's the New York City retirement system and we know what a shit show new york city has been lately so that know, that, right? that tracks <laughs> and then we had uh investment firm uh newberger berman they own 1.4 million shares and they said they're gonna vote to support pelts and try so let's look at the chart here. here who here's kind of uh who owns what and what is concerning i think for some people is that vanguard and blackrock own a lot of shares yeah but even then it's only 15 percent overall Hey, Geode Capital Management. Geode. I bet uh, it's a navigator. State Street Global Advisors. Yeah, Tryon's got 1.76. Uh, State Farm. State Farm. Yeah, Bob Iger doesn't have very much. He has less than 1%. But that's other more board than members, the other board members have. Well, that's it. And that's the point they're trying to make is that they actually had more more skin in the game than Bob Iger and the board members. Um, now, this doesn't include, again, this doesn't include all the individual shareholders and these other groups or whatever. So we don't know how it's going to go. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, I, I think the fact that they're, they're freaking out tells me that, you know, things are going to be close. Now, here's the thing, even though these, okay, something you have to understand too. If you're part of, now those are those specifically, but if you're part of investment groups, just because an investment group owns a stock and you have, you have stock in it, you get to vote what you, with your stock, what you want. Yeah. Like, you, I mean, you get a say. It, like we had, you had some investment groups you didn't even know you had. Yeah, I had Disney and it's, it's weird. I sold all of my uh, standalone Disney stock years ago 
Um, but when, when it was much higher than it is now, thankfully. But yeah, I still had Disney in one of my ETFs. I didn't even realize I had it. I have like an entertainment ETF or something, and it was in that. Yeah, I have so. some ETFs, and I also bought when it was low. Mm. I had some before, but I bought when it was low. So I have a bunch that way. But yeah, um, you have a say. Like you don't, they don't always get to speak for you just because you're part of a group that has a bunch of shares. That that's your shares, and you get to vote for yourself on a lot of these. Yeah, I think actually the one ETF I have, I think it actually is a like a Vanguard or a BlackRock ETF. Right. So that's kind of misleading a little bit. But yeah. anyway, continue. Uh, Blackwell's on Thursday ratcheted up the pressure on Disney by suing the home of Mickey Mouse in a Delaware court for information it says may point to possible disclosure violations in dealing with Hedge Fund Value Act mm-hmm. capital. Disney said the claims are baseless and said the lawsuit was a desperate attempt to gain attention for their slate of director candidates. You know, they keep doing this. Like, it's, oh, you're just, it's just baseless. It's just, it's just, it's, oh, Pearl Mutter's because he's just trying to get revenge. It's always this shit. Yeah. But here's it's always somebody thing. else's fault. It's all, yeah. Here's the thing, though. It is a questionable thing people have been asking about because they were supposed, the first group that actually said they were going to do something about the proxy battle. Um, actually was going to move on it was Value Act. And Value Act instead made a deal with Disney and the board, Iger and the board, that they're going to work with them directly. And it it does seem like it could be a conflict of interest, but then so does hiring, you know, the, the person to add to the board that was, you know, a company that he was CEO of at the time mm. was the one in charge of doing the valuation for Comcast, you know, Hulu to yeah. see how much they got paid from Disney. I, you know, does it mean there's anything that that's definitely underhanded going on? Not necessarily. I'm not saying that. It is a bad look. Oh, yeah. And it does raise yeah. questions. Yeah. It does raise questions when you have Value Act as advisors to the board and they have investment. They're in a capital group. They have people that they represent. And what if they get information that they're not supposed to have and, they, and, and it goes to the shareholders? What if they're going to use it to leverage to make more money? It is a, It would be a valid concern. People would ask questions. If it was any other company, they would ask questions. I'm not saying that's what's going on, but it's fair to ask questions. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, this the Value Act once managed a pension fund uh, for uh, Disney, pension fund money for Disney, but said it no longer oversaw those assets when it began investing in Disney late last year. So they're like, yeah, it's conflict of but interest. But still they invested in Disney and they can make money, but they can, they can move their investments in a way to gain money if they have inside information. That's what they're arguing. And, yeah. and not saying that they do have it, but they're supposed to be, you know, advisors for the board. So, I mean, it would be weird if they didn't have information. Yeah, so they're talking uh, in Reuters. We'll talk about this article from the Wall Street Journal, but they talk about the last-ditch appeals. They said all sides are making last-ditch appeals to big investors at in-person meetings and through Zoom calls. People familiar with the matter said Disney has also stepped up advertising with announcements drawing attention to the meeting. Uh, Disney stock prices climbed 35% in mm-hmm. 2024. But it's down 40% from its record high close in March of 2021. Yeah, they're kind of being fair on this one. But they aren't saying it climbed 35% so far in 2024 from being like $79 last year. I mean, it sounds impressive till you realize how low it went. Oh, wait, go back up. Who's that? Bob Iger and who else? Who is that? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Maybe if he didn't have glasses, I'd know who they were. (laughs) Sorry, that just so funny to me. It's just puss in boots. Oh my god! So this is uh, this is the Wall Street Journal. This was yesterday. Disney try and blitz shareholders for votes in last stretch of proxy fight. Um, so they reiterate a lot of the same things that we talked about uh, from the uh, the Reuters article. But they said that yeah, they said everybody is flipping out trying mm-hmm. to get last minute support. Yep. Um, so this is uh, this is Joseph Amato, chief investment officer and president of Newberger Berman. That was the one that threw their support in. They said we don't think it would cre- we think we don't think it would create undue harm for shareholders to have another couple of independent eyes and ears. So they're supporting trying. Yeah, I mean, because that's what I don't understand. Like they keep making what's the big deal? What is the big deal? Because you're not replacing Bob Iger for CEO. That's what they keep. That's what Disney keeps trying to say, but that's not what's going on. They're replacing two members of the board who have the lowest number of qualifications, neither of which have qualifications in the, in the things Disney keeps complaining that you know Pelts and Rizzullo, Rizzullo don't have, even though I think Rizzullo has some of those. Yeah. Um. So why is it being so 
contested. Like, what difference does it make? Because they're like two voices on a board. They're not the entire board. There's not a hostile takeover. Why are you, why are you so against? There's something else going on. That's what I'm on. saying. It doesn't There's make sense. There's something else going on because it, it is. Well, he can't control them. Yeah, he can't control them. And I think he's afraid once they get in there, especially Rizzullo, because Rizzullo speaks Disney. That he might get in there and, uh, you know, start to kind of push people away from Bob Iger and be like, hey, maybe Bob's way isn't the best way. You know, maybe Bob's choice for uh, a candidate to succeed him is not the best choice for candidate. He's going to pick a candidate that he can still r- control even I mean, if he's puppet. not there. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. And and I think they need somebody that's not uh, going to be a meat puppet. So, yeah, they said some institutional investors who plan to vote for Disney Slate said that Iger has already demonstrated a commitment to correcting the company's course. And the executive he caused the issue, though. He caused the issue. And the executive talent and strategy going forward are more important than the exact makeup of the board. Well, then if that doesn't matter. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. If it doesn't matter about the exact makeup of the board, why does it matter? Here, because you're talking, one of them is this, was the ex COO of Disney back when Disney was making money yeah. and was doing well. If it doesn't matter what the content, the makeup of the board is, why does it matter now? Why why would it matter? Right. Uh, Peltz's campaign might have helped accelerate the change. The investors say they don't think he needs to be part of the board. And they talk about all the people that have thrown support uh, in the last week well, or two. They admit though they don't know how much stock like Lucas still has. Yeah. Or Jobs has, or you know whatever. Yeah, Jobs' wife they're has. They're using a bunch. the names. Yeah. Yeah, George. Yeah, that's it. Basically, they're trying to use the names of the people that created the companies that Disney acquired to sway shareholders to vote. Like, oh look, well if George Lucas gives you his his seal of approval. I'm like, hey, come on, what does that mean? Have you seen Star Wars lately? Like the, the guy was calling them white slavers just a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, Eisner, they roped Eisner in because a lot of people, myself included, think he was a much better CEO yeah. than Bob Iger. And, uh, you know, yeah, Steve Jobs' wife, George Lucas, uh, Abigail Disney, who did a whole freaking movie about Disney and how awful they were. They got her. They said the forest fight from over and could result in a variety of outcomes. It, all, it is always possible the two sides could reach a last minute settlement ahead of the meeting. What, like, we'll take Rizzullo, but we won't take Pelts? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, many of the company's largest institutional shareholders, such as BlackRock and Vanguard, have yet to cast votes and often wait till closer to deadline. Individual investors are expected to have outsized sway, given that they hold right. more than one third of That's shares. What I'm saying. They're only 15 percent. You know, you add it all up together and the investors, the other investors that aren't part of the major groups have a lot more pull. This is interesting, though. I said so far because I thought a lot more people voted so far. A minority of shareholders have voted as of Tuesday. Just over 22 percent of shares have been cast. According to people familiar with the matter, the bulk of them held by individual and other smaller investors. So is that part of why they're freaking out? Because there's still time to change people's minds. You, or can, st- you can vote up till the third. Like there's a yeah. time frame that cuts off on the third. So you can vote clear up till that. Some people, I, you know, that have Disney stock just aren't going to vote. I mean, you got to realize that too. Like they're not going to bother. <laughs> well, we're not going to vote until the end of these bigger groups because we're waiting to see what Disney offers us. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's what it sounds like. I'm not, I'm just saying. I'm not yeah. saying it's true. I'm just saying it's it's weird. Oh gosh. Um, among those who have already cast their votes, Peltz uh, leads Disney director Liga Messina, while Rizzullo, the other name to translate, has so far failed to gain much of a foothold with shareholders. That's weird. That is weird, but Peltz is. Yeah. A spokesman for Disney said leaking an early vote count was a highly inappropriate way to sway votes. Uh, but Disney would do it if they thought they were winning. Yeah. I don't think they are. The fact that they're spending that much money to advertising this thing tells me that like they are freaking out. They're freaking out. Most shareholders are able to vote or alter a previous vote, alter a previous vote. You can, you can up to yeah. the, the cutoff. You're allowed to change your vote up until the cutoff. And then whatever, like your last vote is, is the one that counts. Oh my God. So Iger is actually flying around the country, flitting about the country instead of How running much Disney. Money is that costing Disney? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Iger is personally filling share. Okay. Again, Iger's not the one that's going to be replaced on the board. So why is Iger personally visiting shareholders? And why, and, and who's paying for Iger to go personally visit shareholders? Are you, it better not be Disney money. It better not be the stuff that, the, that I have investments in that you're paying for Iger to go around and try to sway the board to vote. It's not even for him. It's for other people. That You better not be, because that would be absolute garbage. Yeah, so he's flitting about the country trying to sway people to vote for him. I bet he doesn't go and coach. I'm sure he isn't. Oh, the environmental people? There you go. 
Oh my God. Iger, he's all about the environment, except for when he's flying around trying to you know, sway an election. I said some major institutional investors are still undecided because they say both sides have made valid points. Iger is viewed as a strong CEO. Some see value I, in you, having... No. <laughs> he, he caused most of these problems. He did. Some see value in having an outside voice to raise questions and challenge opinions in the boardroom. I, um, I agree. If it's because right now it's all Iger and his, his, his cronies. That's why is Iger on the board? Because then he gets a vote, and it's him and his friends, and he can sit on these people and be in the meetings and sit on them. You're gonna you're gonna do what I want, right? Right. Some investors. Okay, this is interesting. Some investors say they have considered the possibility that Iger might step down from the board should Peltz or Rizzullo win a well, seat. He should be stepping down from the board. He shouldn't be on the board. He's a CEO. He doesn't need to be on the board, too. Iger would be the first person to tell you that the business he's running today isn't the same business he was running years ago. Yes, because he caused the problems of today. But, yeah. you know. If he decides to leave, maybe it's a so what. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, they said the two largest and most influential proxy advisor firms were splitting their recommendations to shareholders. Yeah, we did talk about that before ISS and Glass Lewis. Um, a third and less. We talked about Egan Jones. Egan Jones weighed mm -hmm. in try and side on Tuesday. Uh, this is going to be tight. This is. Uh, oh wait, Disney delivered a blockbuster first quarter earnings report in February. Not really. Because of Pass Fortnite and Taylor Swift. They pulled stuff out of their ass at the last minute. It, yeah, this was like, hey, I waited until the night before to start working on my book report that was assigned six weeks ago. And they keep saying it's on yeah. track for streaming business to be profitable by the end of September. I don't think it's going to be. But beyond that, they've been saying that for years. That, that, that they, it, 2024 is what they've been saying since pretty much the beginning. But I don't know if they're going to make it by then. I don't I know. I really don't. Um, Iger told, so this is how they wrap it up. They said, Iger told colleagues before the earnings announcement that he expected the positive announcements to serve as a, a knockout See, punch. Well, that was obvious, dude. Yeah, it was very much like, oh, but wait, there's more. But wait, he thought, again, this is a guy who, who admired Steve Jobs, but Steve Jobs actually had cool tech to show off. And you're just like, but wait, we've got Taylor Swift and uh, Fortnite, that thing my grandkids play. We're, we're going to make Moana 2. Moana 2. And we're going to pull it out of our butt this year because we're already working on a TV show. We don't have any voice actors signed yet, but we're going to make it happen oh and, and deliver by this fall. People who have spoken to Iger in recent weeks have described him as confident and happy with the direction of the company. He told one associate, he's confident Disney will prevail. They thought they were going to prevail in Florida too, didn't they? Yeah. You he's know, always I'm, confident they're going to prevail. If you look at everything he always says, oh, I'm confident my way is going to go. It's going to go my way always. Well, he's not going to, he's not going to tell people like I'm supposed to be a strong CEO. He's not going to tell people like, yeah, Hey, just between you and me, I think we're fucked. Yeah. He, like, we're totally fucked. Right. Yeah. Like that's not a vote of confidence. Like no. even like the captain goes down with the ship, right? It's, it's like freaking pirates of the Caribbean where they're blowing the pirate ship up and the guy's just kind of walking down the right. stairs in slow-mo. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. I really do not know how this is gonna play out. No, we don't. Um, know. You know, this is a it's tough. It's gonna be one. close. It's gonna be close. And if it wasn't close, that they wouldn't be spending the money advertising no. that they're spending. The good news. Well, that's what, that's what makes me mad. Is they're spending all this money? This it, it better not be Disney money. Because if it is, you're you're spending all this money to do what? Keep two board members in their seats. So what? Yeah. So that doesn't justify the expense. But even if Pelts, uh, you know, try and that loses. I think they're got they're going to have to do something. The board that's there's they're going to have to do something because it's just going to happen again next year unless yeah. they do something. Like they have no choice but to perform. So either way, I think that they, that we're going to see changes because they have to, and they have to make some you know big changes involving content and stu stupid choices they keep making. And they're going to have to do something to catch up to Epic Universe because. They just announced they were talking about the things. Let's pull that up. Let's pull that up. Let's show you what they're up against. So this is the uh, How to Train Your Dragon. Yep. And you, oh my God. Okay, so this is just one land in Epic Universe. Mm hmm And, and yeah. oh my God. I mean, I don't want to play the audio on this one because I don't know if we're going to get dinged or right. not. But like, I mean, we've seen we've seen this. We've seen... Uh, with the meet and greets. The, the meet and greet. Look at this. You actually, the dragons are walking around. I mean, this is what Disney should be doing. This is what people want from Disney. But we in one new theme park, they have this. They have uh, Super Nintendo. 
They have Universal uh, Monsters. Universal Monsters. A new Wizarding World area. Uh, no, more Wizarding World. The, the Universal Monsters. I'm actually, I think, the most excited about because that that mansion looks really awesome. It does look really cool. I'm not gonna lie. And I love Halloween Horror Nights. I'm hoping that, like that whole area will just give that Halloween Horror Nights vibe. To it. But what I, I can tell you from watching the construction and when you saw the first picture, like when you enter the tunnel, it is going to look like in the, the second movie when they, they flew across and there was the statues. Yeah. That's what it's going to look like when you come into the portal. That's what they're coming up against. And they just now got the deal done. Uh, well, it got thrown out, basically, and they had to settle with uh, DeSantis and his board. And so now they can probably start doing something because you really couldn't push things through when you're like fighting with the, the district. Uh, yeah, but even then, you know. It's going to take them, look, Disney anymore, it takes them five years to build a roller coaster. <laughs> Let's see what blue sky shit they pull out of the meeting. I guarantee you. Oh, oh, now we can, now we can do stuff because we're, you know. We sell, even we though settled. we were right, we settled, yeah, we, we settled. settled with Florida for, for the sake of our, our shareholders, we, so here's, we here's settled the, with Florida. The beyond yeah. Thunder Mountain stuff we're going to do is if we get approval, but we're not going to tell you that if we get approval. It's, well, we're we're going to tell you this, vote for us. You still have 10 minutes to vote or whatever. You know what I mean? It's, it's, that's what they're going to do. Guaranteed. This looks like a lot of fun. It's like a water shooting dragon attraction. It's like a boat, I think. <laughs> yeah, so ride. it's like it's like Jungle Cruise with dragons, and you can shoot them with water. It kind of reminds me of Cali River, Cali River Rapids. Yeah, so I mean, I like the, the I, I just like the look. I mean, I think what I like about Epic Universe, they have a whole space area, right? That's not it's not based yes, on any that's the IP. Hub. It's just it's just this, it's it's themed to space. Yeah, when you come in. You're gonna see all that, like that. That's what you're gonna see. Like, and they, the begin, like a beginning of second movie when you came across, that's what you saw. That's what this is all. Be, be filled with water. Oh my if god! If you go out to um, Bio Reconstruct mm. on Twitter, you can see all the pictures of the stuff being under construction. Yeah, I, I I'm sorry, Disney. You're gonna have to do. Like di this is what blows my mind about this. Disney at this point in time needs to fight harder than they've ever fought, and they are spending all their time with politics and bullshit. And they're in the position they're in right now because they they were pissing around. They were on top. They thought they were always going to be on top, and now Universal's going to swoop now in. Now they're bent over. Now they're bent over. Yeah, and they cannot catch up to. You know what it cost them to build a park like this? Comcast took your money for Hulu. They took oh, your money. 60 and they billion <laughs> and only 30 billion is going to parks for 10 years in all yeah. the parks. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's, I don't know. I don't guys. think you're going to do that 17 billion investment in Florida you're claiming you're going to do. No, I do not. So, anyway, we're going to wrap this up. We're going to wrap this I have up, to guys. Be somewhere, so. Yeah, so uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.